G'day guys, welcome. It is not quite 24 hours after our big win against the West Coast Eagles yesterday at Optus Stadium. Um, it was a long time to wait for that game. And I did mention in my preview that we'd all probably be, I thought the consensus would be amongst the Carlton faithful that we'd all be a little bit worried about that game and, and what could transpire. But from my point of view, from my point of view, I don't know. I, sometimes you get this this calmness that comes across you um, before a game and even throughout the game. Um, and this was one time this year that I never, never felt at any time throughout that game. And I know it's easy to say when you get a blistering start like we did um, against the, uh, the Eagles yesterday. But for not one second did I feel like we were going to lose that game, even when they came in that second quarter and got within 10 points. Um, and Josh Kennedy, you know, was having a bit of an impact on the game. And they're, and they're you know, Waterman and Darling were getting some looks as well in their front half. And, you know, the, Jermaine Jones was was causing some headaches across half back. And Nick Nat started to get on top a little bit in the ruck. I don't know. I, I, I just didn't think they were good enough to win that game of football. And I, and, I, and I almost sort of thought, well, we'll steady here um, and we'll win this game. And, and that's the way it panned out. And it wasn't even – the reason why I suppose I wasn't nervous is because I actually forgot about the equation of the finals. Um, maybe if it had been the last game of the year and we had to win that game to play finals, it might have been different. But I just – I don't know. I almost felt like, yeah, I f this, that we deserve to be there at this stage. You know, we've done enough to be there and other teams are falling over. And, and you know, and I, I just felt that if we're good enough, if we're good enough, if we're good enough, we're going to play finals this year. And if we're good enough, we're going to win a grand final this year. And that's the way I'm viewing it right here, right now. Because um, honestly, I honestly feel like, I honestly feel like, Every win that we have, every win we have, okay, is building this incredible amount of, of, of trust, okay, from, from the fan base with the football club and the football team. And I can only imagine how it must be um, with the team itself. From, from being a team that couldn't win um, and a team that would find so many ways to lose games of football and not be in games of football and just have an incredible losing mentality. It must be extremely, such an extremely, extremely rewarding and, and powerful experience to turn that around, to turn that around. Um, and we've been able to do that this year. And we're, we're, we're going to lose some more games before the end of the year. <laughs> okay, but we're... We're winning, we're winning more games, we're winning more games and we're losing um, a lot more. <laughs> we're, we're winning a lot more than we're losing. Um, and that feeling of, of, of winning and that, that confidence that you get from being that team, that team that wins games of football is, is incredibly, I don't know, it is incredibly powerful. Um, so when we, when we started to really put the sword to the West Coast Eagles in that last quarter in an incredibly, an incredibly brutal and powerful display of football in, in difficult conditions. And the game was in the balance, in the balance. I think it was 17 odd points. We got that really important goal, I think, through Charlie just before three-quarter time. And you know, big forwards, big forwards, and you project what that may look like in big, real big, big games where big forwards can can step up at that moment. Um, they're hard to stop. And we gave our forwards some incredible fucking opportunities yesterday to generate 70 inside 50s. That's a big, big amount. And to restrict in a mid, you've got to take your hat off to the midfield. You've got to take it off because they... They needed to be. They needed to lift after an ordinary display last week. Um, I wouldn't say it was ordinary, but they were down on their output. But to restrict the opposition, and it's not just the midfield, but they play a, a, a significant role in that. To restrict the opposition to what thirty-three inside fifties, 
Um, you know, we've taken our hat off to the to our back six and seven who've been under pressure this year. But I think they should take their hat off to the work at the midfield um, this week. Because the Eagles, the Eagles, they, they scored some easy goals in that second quarter. Um, and we looked a little bit disorganised down back um, in that period of time. And I thought Jacob Wiedering actually looked a little bit rusty. Um, but it was a, when, when we were steamrolling him in that last quarter, this was my feeling for the first time this year. And I have been a bit of a worrier and, and, and not so much a doubter because um, I know we're still not there and I still don't know and no one, no one can tell me. No one knows whether this team is going to get our 7th Premiership or well, this team is, is is going to cause some significant damage in the finals. No one knows that. We can't predict that. But what I did feel in that last quarter, okay, when we were fucking spanking them, spanking those bastards, um, is we're that team now, and they're the Eagles, they're us. They're what we were. And I know they're probably in a position to bounce back. That's the type of club they are. They're never down for that long. Um, a good feeling from a fan's perspective, and I'm sure it was for our boys as well, to to be on the other side, to be on the other side of the equation, to 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 see it all, you know, like to mentally and physically break the opposition the way we did in that third quarter, I thought it was an arm wrestle. It was a struggle. It was a fight. It was wet. You know, and they've still got some experienced players around the middle. They've got Nick Nat in the ruck. He's strong. He's big. And they've got Hearn down back and the big forwards and some midfielders. So they've still got some experience. They're on their home, home fucking dunghill. But we broke them at three-quarter time. And they thought they had a sniff. They really did. And for us to come out in that last quarter and just control the game and then, and then to put the scoreboard pressure on. And then, and then not to allow them to score at all in the last quarter. And you know that feeling you get in the last quarter where your team, you're 40-odd points up and you're going, fuck, this is unreal. How good's this? But please don't let them have any junk time goals. Please don't give them some easy goals. No, this was us being a brutal fucking football team. Um, and it was, a, it was a great feeling. It was a great feeling to have. Now, whether that performance yesterday, whether that performance yesterday is, is good enough to, to, to beat Geelong next week, I, I, I'm sure if we, we have longer periods of time and we're going to face better opposi opposition next week, but we've had long periods of time like we did have in that second quarter where we were really down. And it's hard to, it's hard to maintain and sustain that, that hardness and that ferocity which we showed in that first quarter, it's hard to sustain that. But we did, we did allow them some really easy goals. And what they kick, they, what they kick in that second quarter, I think they what they kick six six goals, or, you know. And they, yeah, it was it was pretty ordinary. Um, but fuck, it felt good, didn't it? It, it, it did. Um, we bashed them. We bashed them. Um, we bashed them into fucking submission. And to see Adam Simpson, and I don't mind Adam Simpson. I don't mind him, okay, and this is not being disrespectful. But to see him sitting on the bench in that last quarter and and really probably not having any fucking answers because he's looking at the opposition and going, they're just too fucking good. They're just too fucking good. It was, it was, it was made you feel really proud. And we ain't, we really, I know people haven't, kicking us at the moment and saying we've, we've, achieve fucking nothing yet and really no one achieves anything no football team really achieves anything until they win a grand final okay so all those teams that have won recently you, you know your richmonds and stuff and, and and west coast back in 2018 which was recent okay you know they've got the bragging rights the bulldog they've still got the bragging rights because they've actually achieved the ultimate we haven't done that yet but <laughs> Take incredible amount of satisfaction to see your team coming out of a hole of years and years and years, okay, of just shit. Um, and each win we have, I'm seeing something a little bit different. And each win we have, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm loving and, and trusting this group even more and more. 
Okay, and and that's that is an incredible, incredible feeling, incredible feeling just on its own. And as I say, I don't know whether this group is capable enough, okay, to get the job done, okay, because we're going to be there in September, and I tell oh, the fucking nerves are going to be incredible then. I th- I think they're going to be incredible in there, then, okay, and they're going to be incredible this Saturday night against the Cats as well. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at some of the individual performances from the, this game. But I think it was, when you really think about it, it was a, just a really good, good, solid team performance. Uh, I don't think anyone sort of jumped out of the box in regards to dragging us over the line. Um, um, I thought, I mean, I thought TDK, um, I thought he was wonderful. And we, we speak about the growth of individuals and we speak about the opportunities um, that individuals have had given the injuries we've had this year. And and to see TDK, and, I, and, and you looked at the thumbnail, boys to men, boys to men, this this football club of ours is, is, is growing up before our eyes. Um, not just, and I'm not just talking about the young players, just, you know, the, the guys are under 22, 23. I'm talking about the club in general. But to see the way the TDK approached that game yesterday and, you know, after a down game last week, to, to see him battle it out against, you know, a, 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 just a fucking mammoth of a human being and, and Nick Nat Newey. And I know he's probably a little bit underdone second game back, but um, he's such a competitor, TDK. And, and, and I thought he really drove, he drove us early in that game in that first quarter and, and, and when, when the heat was on him in that second quarter and, and Nick Nat and Bailey Williams, who I actually thought was okay for the Eagles, the, the backup ruckman. And I thought, you know, he provided him with a little bit as well in that second quarter and even a little bit in the third as well. To see TDK fight back, to see him fight back. Um, I think just, we just got a beauty on our hands. I just thought he was wonderful. Seven clearances. Um, you know, Doc down back with his 28 touches and 602 metres gained. Um, you know, the conditions, it looked actually quite difficult, particularly as the game went on, it started to rain and his, his ability to, 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 to penetrate the ball um, and intercept, um, you know, he, he was great. And I thought Hearn um, up the other end for the Eagles was a real headache for us as well. Um, and thank God they had him because I thought he he played a similar role to what 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 Doherty did for us. Um, it was almost like we couldn't get past Hearn at times, and and the Eagles really at times couldn't get past Sam Doherty down back. I thought he was magnificent. I thought Matty Kennedy found some form. Um, he hasn't so much popped off from early in the year, and we sp- speak about trying to sustain that, sustain that. Like I don't know. Are we asking too much? Are we asking too much of our midfield? I know there's all this talk at the moment about point of difference and finding someone with an extra bit of grunt and a bit, bit well, not grunt, but a bit more speed through there to give us a bit of breakaway speed from the stoppage. And, you know, are we trying to match, manufacture something which we haven't got? Um, I don't know. I just thought Kennedy yesterday, his ability to get back, you know, take marks in the back half and, you know, he's not the quickest player going around, but he just he just continues to, to, to put his head over it. Seven tackles. I uh, thought he was wonderful. Um, you know, Walsh, after I thought a really quiet sort of sort of mid part of the game, lifted in that last quarter. It was great to see him hit the scoreboard in that last quarter. Um, I, I, just, I just knew Cripps would lift after he fucked up. Um, and I was fucking, I was ropeable at the time as well. I was probably m- like most others that 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 bit of play. Um, and I don't think, I honestly don't think he was being selfish. I, I he went to give. He actually went to feed the ball off. I can't remember who it was to. Um, pretty sure he went. He should have gone first option, but I don't know. Something something flickered up there to to to. Yeah, that's. I remember a game he played against. Might have been against Hawthorne at the same Grand, Grand Optus Stadium um, back in two thousand and twenty when we were in the hub. 
um, when they got us, and he, he he got a lot of the ball, but tried to do too much. There was a little bit of that. There was a little bit of that. Just that one moment. Um, but he came out after half time, and I thought he was terrific as well. I thought I thought Silvani, you know, like it's one of the better games I've think, seen Jack Silvani play. And I'm not talking about what he did in the ruck. I'm talking about just the work around the ground. I think there was one smother there he did in the third quarter, which which he just came from nowhere. He's desperate. Um, you know, at times he looked like he was on his on one leg, but he just kept finding a way to present and present, present the scrag. Um, and I've been I've been critical at times of, of Jack Silvani's um, impact in games. I thought that that was the type of leadership game, and he's not part of the leadership group. But the the I think when you look at the best sides, the most successful sides. Um, you know, the ones who've had significant, consistent, sustainable um, periods of, of, of competitiveness, um, it's the next layer of experience and the next layer of leadership. So, you know, I think that the, the, the group underneath, you know, like like Doc stepped down, So, but you've got him. And then Silvani now, 25, you know, be 26 years of age so, shortly, Kerno McKay, they're, sorry, Mackay, they're all in that bracket now of 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 they should be becoming um, strong leaders, and and Silvani played that well way yesterday. Um, the big the big twins up forward. Um, I mean, fuck, ten goals, five each, <laughs> seventy inside fifties. Um, I, I didn't think they. I, I mean, Charlie. Was outmarked a couple of times by Edwards. Who I thought was okay on him. So, um, you know, like, am I getting carried away with a ten goal performance from Harry and Charlie? They were huge. They were probably in our best players. Um, is it going to be easy like that for them again? Um, no, it's not. But you know, they had a day out. They had a day out because they had they had they didn't have great suppliers and great ball use to synergy going inside 450, particularly early, wasn't great, but they made something out of nothing. Um, and when they're on together, um, and they both work hard, they're both working really hard. Um, and they were just a handful. They were a real handful. It must have been an absolute delight for for the Western Australian supporters who don't get to come over and watch these guys live. Um, watch these two in action yesterday, two big key pillars um, taking the game by the scruff of the neck, which they did. Um, and Harry's just got this ability to kick goals in a rush. Um, he's done it before. He's never out of the game. All those games where you feel like he's just um, having a, not a bad one, but he's just, you know, he's, he's just trying to find a way. He's been scragged. He's been held. And um, then he just goes bang, 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 which he did, which he did yesterday, which was fantastic. Um, you know, and, and, and I just thought, you know, down back, um, Lewis Young, I thought he was our best key defender. I thought he was great again. Um, you know, so, so, and I th thought our smalls, you know, Honey was really disappointing. Um, he's just really struggling at the moment to have an impact at this level. But I thought Corey Durden provided us with some real spark. I thought his defensive pressure was, was a lot better. And I spoke about letting the shackles off and keeping out smaller forwards a little bit deeper. Um, and to see him and Zach Fisher um, and also Motlop at times in really, really dangerous positions in our front half rather than being sucked too far up the ground. And I thought we kept we kept our position um, in our front half a lot better and we had we had some really dangerous looks going inside our forward 50. Um, I don't know, I didn't feel like our wingers had a lot to do. Um, Cultural had some big moments, big goal in the last quarter, nice mark. O'Brien, yeah, he was in and out of the game, but, but but didn't provide a lot. Did he have to provide a lot? Are there still question marks on our wingers? And those two players are getting big opportunities. They're playing okay. They're going to have bigger tests than what they had yesterday against the West Coast Eagles, and that will start um, against, uh, against the Cats on Saturday night. Anyway, I couldn't be happier um, with our performance yesterday at Optus Stadium. Um, in in a big, a big, big performance for the football club. I'll speak soon.